Welcome to the ninth meeting of Session 6 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Before we move to the first item on the agenda, I would like to remind everyone present to switch their mobile phones to silent. As we are meeting both in Parliament and online today, I would appreciate that it will be more challenging for members appearing online to indicate agreement to the items being discussed. Can I therefore ask for members appearing on blue jeans to raise their hand if they are not content with the questions being put. The first item of business is to decide whether to take items 8 and 9 in private. Is the committee content to take these items in private? Yep. Thank you. Under agenda item number 2, we are considering two instruments laid under the European Union Withdrawal Act 2018. The committee is considering if the appropriate scrutiny procedure and the appropriate category has been applied to SSI's 2021-354 and 383. Both instruments have been laid under the negative procedure and are considered by the Scottish Government to be of low significance. Is the committee content that, these, uh, sorry, that the appropriate scrutiny procedures have been applied to these instruments and that the SSIs are of low significance? Yeah. Thank you. Under agenda item number three, we are considering a further instrument laid under the European Union Withdrawal Act 2018. In this case, the committee is considering whether the appropriate category has been applied to the Draft Plant EU Exit Scotland Amendment No. 2 Regulations 2021. The instrument has been categorised by the Scottish Government as of medium significance. Is the committee content that the SSI has been categorised properly as of medium significance? Thank you. Under agenda item number four, we are considering instruments subject to the made affirmative procedure. An issue has been raised on SSI 2021-359, the Health Protection, Coronavirus, International Travel and Operator Liability, Scotland Amendment No. 5, Regulations 2021. The instrument makes a number of changes to SSI 2021-322, the principal international travel regulations, including expanding the criteria for defining eligible vaccinated arrivals and amending exemptions in place for diplomatic personnel, their staff, and independence in relation to COP26. Regulation 4D inserts paragraph 4A into Regulation 3 of the Principal International Travel Regulations. As amended, uh, Regulation 3 provides that a person is an eligible vaccinated arrival if, among other things, the person is not vaccinated for medical reasons, uh, and I quote, by virtue of a determination made in accordance with I the Health Protection Coronavirus Requirements Scotland Regulations 2021 uh, or 2, uh, the Health Protection Coronavirus International Travel and Operator Liability England Regulations 2021. As neither of those regulations make explicit provision for such a determination to be made, it could be clearer how and by whom an exemption from vaccination on medical grounds is made in accordance with a determination made under either of these regulations. In written correspondence with the Committee, the Scottish Government stated that the position is set out in guidance to which the travel operators or persons responsible for premises must have regard, and it considers that guidance makes clear the process for attaining and evidencing a medical exemption in accordance with both the requirements regulations and also the English international travel regulations. Does the Committee nevertheless wish to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament on reporting ground H? and that the instrument's meaning could be clearer in that there is no reference to any determination in respect of exemption from vaccination on medical grounds in either of the regulations cited in Regulations 4D of the instrument. Yes. Okay. And does the committee also wish to call on the Scottish Government to clarify this matter at the next legislative opportunity? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Also under this item, no points have been raised on SSI's 2021, 382 and 384. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yep. Thank you. Under agenda item number five, we are considering instruments subject to the affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on the following draft instruments. The relevant adjustments to common parts, disabled persons, Scotland Amendment Regulations 2021, the Eggs Amendment Scotland Regulations 2021, the Scottish Dog Control Database Order 2021, 
The Plant Health EU Exit Scotland Amendment No. 2 Regulations 2021. The Redress for Survivors Historical Child Abuse in Care. Payments Materially Affected by Error Scotland Regulations 2021. And the Coronavirus Act 2020. Early Expiry Provisions Scotland Regulations 2021. Members will note that the Plant Health EU Exit Scotland Amendment No. 2 Regulations 2021 were originally laid on the 7th of October 2021 and subsequently withdrawn and relayed following initial questions from the committee. Is the committee content with these instruments? Good time. Under agenda item number six, <clears throat> we are considering instruments subject to the negative procedure. Issues have been raised on SSI's 2021-354, the storage of carbon dioxide, licensing, etc., EU Exit, Scotland Amendment, Regulations 2021. This instrument amends definitions, references and expressions related to EU law in the storage of carbon dioxide, licensing, etc., Scotland Regulations 2011, which require updating or correction following the UK's withdrawal from the EU. The amendments are minor and technical in nature. The committee wrote to the Scottish Government to ask whether Regulation 8 of the instrument contained an error in respect of references to certain EU law applying as they had effect immediately before the implementation period at completion day. The Scottish Government in its response said it was grateful to the committee for highlighting the error and that SSI 2021-383, which the committee has also, sorry, is also considering under this agenda item, has since been laid to correct this. The correcting instrument will come into force on Tuesday the 30th of November, a day before the provision containing the error will come into force. Full details of the error in Regulation 8 can be found in the correspondence between the Committee and the Scottish Government. This correspondence is included in Paper 4 of this meeting, which can be found within the agenda on the Committee's website. Does the Committee wish to draw this instrument to the attention of the Parliament under Reporting Ground H on the basis that the meaning of Regulation 8, as outlined in correspondence with the Scottish Government, could be clearer? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And does the Committee also wish to welcome that the Scottish Government has acknowledged that this was a drafting error and that a correcting instrument has been laid which will correct the error before it would have come into force? Yep. Also under this item, no points have been raised on SSI's 2021, 367, 379, 380, and which has just been welcomed to correct the error in 354, SSI 2021, 383. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yes. Yep. Under agenda item number seven, we are considering instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised on SSI's 2021, 355 and 386. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yeah. Does the committee also wish to welcome that SSI 2021-386 fulfils a commitment given by the Scottish Government to rectify a numbering error highlighted by the Session 5 Committee at its meeting on the 19th of January 2021 with respect to the Lands Tribunal for Scotland Miscellaneous Amendments Rules 2020? Yep. Okay, thank you. And with that, I will move the committee into private. Thank you.